question is from Crystal Felice. What is your opinion on incorporating AMRAP and EMOM sets into your daily workouts? <laughs> you know, it's a, I like ding dong workouts. I, I, so this is my favorite. <laughs> Look at CrossFit really? and all their acronyms, dude. That's so funny. <laughs> Fucking so F nine. AMRAP AMRAP stands for as many reps as possible. What's EMOM again? Uh, every minute, every minute on, on the minute. Yeah. Every minute on yeah. the minute, you do a rep. So kind of Tabata esque. Yeah, it's, yeah. That's that's like a hit Tabata. Yeah. So uh, here's here's my opinion on on both those things, and they they both kind of fall in the similar category. I, I, it's a terrible idea into your daily workouts. Uh, do I think there's some value in throwing a? a I, I've done an AMRAP before. I would tell. Let's say here it, this last year. That's another word for failure, isn't it? Yeah, right, right. Exactly. Yeah, as many reps as you can do in a set. Right. right. So, yeah. so how many times have I trained a set where I did as many as possible till I absolutely completely went to exhaustion or failure? I can tell you in this last year uh, that that was less than ten times, probably less than five times. So somewhere probably between five and ten total times in all of my workouts. Have I done this? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think there's some value of intermittent. And I, do I do it? Yes. Intermittently, I would do it. Would I program it into a program every week or every day? Fuck no. No, it's like an interrupter. Yes. Yeah, and it's great. Uh, you know, but I think the, the rock studying bebop version is a lot better. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> these just, uh, just annoys me with these uh, acronyms, but yeah, I, I think that, um, again, like what's, what's your desired outcome? Like what, what's your focus? Is your focus on strength? Is your focus on building muscle? Like, you know, this is another one of those things that's going to sort of compete. And so if you look at it as like something that's going to compete towards your progress towards, you know, just specifically building muscle or specifically building strength, uh, you know, it's going to add an element of endurance that now your body's going to compete, you know, amongst those things. That's it. These are, these are intensity. These are tools to radically increase the intensity of your workout. And these aren't the only tools. There's forced reps and partial reps and heavy negatives. And there's all kinds of different techniques to getting your, to pushing your body to a very, very high level we of need intensity. To, we need to explain the studies that support this stuff. Because this is this is where these people I think get the idea that it's good because they they'll take a study to support training to failure and the benefits of it for muscle building, and what you're not doing is you're not looking at the whole picture. You're right. Short term, you know, if you compare one group to another group and one group is super super intense and the other one's less intense, if especially if it's a short term study, you're going to see that the intensity factor is going to give people some better results. But if you extended that study and the people continue to train with that level of intensity, you would start to see their progress stop and maybe even reverse. It's a tortoise in the hair. Mm -hmm. It's a tortoise in the hair. The, the tortoise will, <clears throat> will eventually pass the hair. I mean, you come out the gates, yes, in a six-week study, if you train with, you know, training to failure every workout for six weeks and you compare that to another group that stops their exercises two reps short of failure – Every for every week for six weeks, the ones that went to failure would show that they gained more muscle or they burned more body fat. But over the course of a year or two years or a long actual study, I guarantee you the tortoise would actually end up passing the hair in this situation. Mm -hmm. And so, but do, is there value then? Because there are yeah, they're tools. Yes, you got to know you got to know when to use them. Right. You know you you can't you're not going to always use your sledgehammer you know, and your tool belt. It's not like you're going to walk into a house and you're going to see, oh, there's a screw right there. Oh, time for the sledgehammer. Oh, fuck, I broke the wall. You know, yeah. that's kind of what's happening with these tools. Now, I know why they're so popular. It's because when fitness uh, enthusiasts or influencers post about their workout. Yeah, it looks cooler. Yeah, I'm not going to post about my regular, you know, workout. That's not exciting. Unless I'm you're gonna, Mike Matthews. Yeah. <laughs> He does a great job of that. Every regular workout. <laughs> yeah. he posts. Captain regular. It does. Oh, I like it. You know what, though? That's a good point. Yeah. He posts the real shit. No. Yeah. He's doing no, that. It's perfect. Hey, tease him, love but that that is, that's the truth, though. That, that is, is the truth. That is, that's that. why I appreciate it. I'm like, that's so boring, but that's, I love it. That's yeah. how he built his physique. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But it's boring, so when you're going to post, like if I post the deadlift, I'm not going to be like, oh, today's workout was, you know, 315 for six reps, four sets, you know, four sets of it. And, you know, I got a nice squeeze. Of it. No, it's like boring. I'm going to put like the PR that I did or I went to complete failure and whatever because yeah. you're kind of bragging. But then people get the, the, the notion, it's a little distorted that, oh, that's the way I need to work out all the time. It's not. In fact, I'll say this. The advanced intensity techniques should be reserved for people who've been consistent with their workouts and who are relatively advanced 
for at least six months to a year. If you haven't worked out consistently, you know, on a regular basis for six months to twelve months, yeah, don't do any of this shit. There's it, no need. Yeah, yeah, leave it out of your workout. Um, you know, that goes for all the crazy shit. Yeah, like all, of it. all the 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 pyramiding and the drop cluster sets, setting yeah. and the yeah the drop setting and the circuit shit, like everything. Like it's there's so many other big rocks to accomplish in your your fitness journey that you should be addressing and getting good at and practicing and learning first before you before you start adding stuff. And most certainly, because here's the thing: if you're even if you're somebody who's within six months, if you did this once, not a big deal. I'm fine. In fact, probably has some value. But you doing this in every workout or uh, programming every, it or every week yeah. no ridiculous it's yeah. it's not a good idea nope